What's crackling, everybody? I'm Grillmaster, and welcome back to Atlas. As you can see, I am in a cold zone, tundra. I'm in fur gear. It's some of the fur gear that we have. I made up a bunch for everybody. Nobody else is online, though. Um, this is my boat of uh, covering everything. So we got tempered wood here. I went to the desert, just barely into it. Got some desert stuff. So I have desert one growing. And then we have right here, which is tundra, which is where I'm at now. I don't have any seeds specific to desert or tundra. I didn't see anything when we were in desert, but we like didn't really look around. I am gonna go over here and check it out. Uh, first, I'm gonna have a sneeze fit, so I'll see you in a second. <laughs> All right, now that that's over, um, and the rain, luckily. That's a turtle. I was like, what is that noise? So I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna grab some treasure maps too. I am the only person on the server. I got here and I was like. Hmm. Yeah, Chester Headland Haven. The only person on the whole server, though, is just... It's a trip. Cotton. What? That's a new fiber for me. I haven't seen that before. Legion Berry. Ooh, we needed this for food. Like, for a food recipe. Arctic Raspberry. So I've been... <laughs> I've been going a little nuts on food and trying to find all this stuff. I love growing stuff. I love building stuff. And there's been a few alterations around the base again. Um, our neighbor, I don't know if they were gone too long or what happened exactly, but their property disappeared. Like their entire, like their base it disappeared. And I got in the day and didn't see them on, so I started claiming it. And they came over, ran over, asked if they could have it back, and I was like, yeah, not a problem. And so I removed my flag. And then a minute later, they came running over saying they were too pinched in, they couldn't grab it because of the neighbors and us. So, th they, we could have the land. I'm feeling bad I gave him a tiger, because it's just like, I don't, I don't know, man, this kind of sucks. And I made it neutral so people could build on there. But they moved their boats out into the ocean, and, well, tornadoes hit their boats. So, I, I don't know if both of them sunk, but at least one of them sunk. That was unfortunate. But nonetheless, we have a lot more land. Not a lot, I can't say it's a lot. It's really, we finally have area that people farm on that we can actually get some taxes from. Like, a few of these people, I don't... You, a few of these companies wouldn't even have to do anything. Because you just get so much... Like, we like we harvest so much from them that their taxes gotta be good. For just that alone. Oh, no. Where's my tools? Where's my tools? I was just thinking, why am I doing this by hand? That's a bunch of craziness. I need a sickle. <laughs> That's the way to go. Oh, what is this? Whoa. That's the Arctic Raspberry? Okay. Legion Berry, I know, is for a recipe. Rosemary, we need for recipes. So, already, I'm super excited on some of the stuff here. I don't know what exactly I can get seeds from. It seems like anything that's an herb, you can't get a seed from it, which is super sad. Uh, I need to also make an axe and a pick. And this may not be the longest video. I haven't been feeling the best today. Um, I'm just, like, kind of, I don't know, cold or... What not? Oh my god, that's what I want. There it is. 120 sickle. I need to actually repair you. Put you in there. Repair you. This this right here is what I want. Because, yeah, we get the bonus with that one. Um, and then give me the axe and the pick. And then put the axe down there. But yeah, <laughs> I don't have a weapon. A bow. I should get a bow. Transfer all. Craft a bow. Alright, I'll see you in a second after I gather all this. There we go. Got everything. And I know jumping in the water here is not wise. But, don't really have too much options. So, it is what it is. Uh, I can get a lot of cotton here. Oh man, it gives you a lot. They, people were saying you don't get a lot of fiber here. Like, the tundra is terrible for fiber. I mean, I guess I don't know how many cotton little bushes there are, but that's, that doesn't seem too bad. Rosemary is when I this is the type of stuff that I'm excited about is the cooking ingredients. I have no idea what kind of threats are on this island, so this is gonna be it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Nonetheless. Uh Yep, just okay, looks like it's all about the same here. I wanna keep exploring. What about what about this? Granite and basalt. Again, more and iron. Okay, granite, basalt, and iron. I was wondering what the metal was. Granite. That's what we have back at home. That doesn't matter. Basalt is new, though. 
So that's a new kind of fiber. What kind of trees do you have here? Softwood and roots. Okay, we have roots from the desert. Softwood. Is it all softwood? Yeah. Okay. I see a sheep. I'm looking for wild animals because I don't know what's here. So I gotta be very careful. I don't. Whoop. Okay. It's just a seagull. I was like, whoop, there's something there. If I see sheep, I'm a little less worried. Like, I imagine there's probably something here we gotta grow only in those plots, otherwise there wouldn't be a reason to have those plots. So something slightly terrifying that I think I saw when I pulled in here was something that said watch out for cyclopses. Oh god. Oh, that's what I was worried about. I didn't know what the wild creatures were, they're wolves. Oh crap, that's what I wanted. Thank you, wolves. That's exactly what I wanted. Get bounced. So I can go into the ocean and take them out with my boat. Okay. Come on, wolves. Let's go. Oh, that's an... Oh, I thought that was an alpha wolf for a second. Like, oh crap. Nope, just a regular wolf. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You want to come and get me in the water? I don't want to be in the water, too. Hey, I'm not actually freezing to death right now, so I don't care. <laughs> this has been my tactic, for the most part, when I get attacked. Run into the water. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> just fight them there because they're so slow. What's happening? Oh, it's just a fish in the water. Find treasure map. Please hit BC. It'd be awesome if it sent me to C. Oh, B11. That's actually not too far from us. That's, uh, that's what I'm hoping. Like, I want to get some maps that are near us from far away. So when I go back, we don't even have to go that far for treasure maps. Like, unfortunately, the good ones we've found are at places we're just quite simply not ready to go. All right, I'm going to gather some more stuff. I'll see you in a second. Jesus. I don't even know what that was about. Wolf just came running up and just like rah, 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 rah. Come on, buddy. You wanna come at me? He's attacking the pig. Oh god. Don't shoot the I think I shot the pig. That's what it seemed like. Oh crap. Oh crap. Just keep bouncing me back. There you go. Did we go in the water? Don't run back for the body. Come on, wolf. None of that. There we go. One more? No? Oh, you turned. Nice. That was a sweet spot. Okay. Woo! Wolves here. Are those my arrows? <laughs> Okay, okay. I was kind of hoping I'd maybe find something. Find something, like, not as common. Like, maybe... I mean, I don't see anything with seeds so far. Everything I've hit, nothing's come up for seeds. So that's kind of the biggest thing I'm looking for. On that thing, anyways. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to a different island. <laughs> like I don't, I don't really see anything, and I don't want to venture in too far. And it's also getting nighttime, so I think I'm just gonna try to venture to a different island here. Part of me wants to try to go to Polar, but I don't think I'd survive, and I don't think there's gonna be anything that's gonna grow there. So I'm, I'm gonna probably hold off for now on that. I think I'll probably go with the guys. Why am I so slow? It's because I'm hurt. It's gotta be because I'm hurt. Oh, that bear just freaked me out for a second forgetting that you guys are friendly it's just nuts I'm the only person on the server how is that a thing it's so weird all right yeah this ship though this ship has been what did you just do ship has been weird like just sailing it to a place throw all this stuff real quick and try to find what is happening try to find out what what is this why is it doing this I don't like this 
Is this not cool? Why are you bouncing me off the back? This has never happened before. I don't understand. Where's my ladder? I have a ladder on the side, I thought. Yeah, right here. I don't I don't know what that was. I did not like that though. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. Alright, let me put this away. And we're gonna start sailing. I don't know where I'm gonna go yet. I think I'm just gonna try to head to another island here. Um, and you may notice the clo. I, I found out about lan lanterns. And I've been having fun with those. Uh... Uh... What the heck is that? What the heck is that? No! No! That's not what this ship is for! Oh my god! Run! It's a giant whale. That's a giant whale. That's a really giant whale. Holy crap, I will take the ghost ship over that. I will take the ghost ship over that all the way. Um, uh, peace? Can we peace? Can we please peace? Please, please just as fast as you can go. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. What the flippin' whale? Oh no, look at where it's heading. I'm gonna die. This is not, I'm not feeling good about this. Oh. Okay, it's turning. I'm sorry if you can't see anything. You can see its tail flipping out, at least in my recording. It's dark. Can I, can I, can I? There we go. It's a little bit brighter. Whale's over there in the distance kicking its tail up. That's a super gigantic tail. This is a freaking garden boat. This is a garden boat. This is not a battle boat. Stay away from me, whale. With these guys, I'm not worried. We can outrun them. Oh, there's another one. You know what? You know what? I think I'm gonna just take this home. I accomplished my goal of getting here and getting the garden things on here. And there's a flippant giant whale here. Is this a power stone location? This is a lawless region. This is a lawless region. What? Nope, don't zoom in that much. Okay. Uh, you need to go to the right. We need to turn the sails to the left. Yep, there we go. Just like that. Oh my gosh. This is a lawless region. How is this a lawless region? This is insanity. That looks purple almost. It doesn't even look red. It looks almost purple. It looks evil, I can tell you that much. I mean, there's, there's five of them around us. The other one's gone, at least. Oh, Lord. I just want to leave this place. I didn't, I didn't see any of this. And like I said, when I got to that island, that's, I swear to God, I said, watch out for Cyclopses. But you can't claim here. That's what I was really confused about. I don't know why I said that or how it said that. Like, if that's actual game message, watch out for Cyclopses. Ooh, why is it so dangerous here? There must be something super secret in the middle of that island. We may end up coming back here like later in the future or something. I don't know. This is nuts, though. This is nuts. That giant whale. That caught me off guard. I was not expecting to see that. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show you the new changes. And honestly, it's probably gonna be it for this video. It's just not gonna be very long, unless something crazy happens on the way home. Hopefully not. I don't want anything crazy to happen because this is, like I said, my garden boat. That's what it's meant for, is just gardening. So I can have every plant once we get more seeds. But I mean, I would prefer to like go out looking for seeds with a, the brig, something more, more confident and weight. This is just, I just need to, I just wanted to relax and just kind of play this game and just kind of just sail. I haven't done a lot of sailing. The one time I did do sailing, it was super irritating for me and I didn't really enjoy it. And then I did the brig and I had so much freaking fun doing the brig. That was unbelievable amounts of fun. And I feel like with three people, we should be perfectly good. Like we shouldn't even have to worry about it. Oh, how am I, I'm cold. I'm in my stuff and I'm still cold. Okay. But yeah, I feel like we wouldn't even have to really worry about getting murdered by anything. One person always on repairs. One person, like, constantly fighting. I mean, not even always on repairs, just if we need the repairs. But I do need some more some more guns on my brig. That's not done yet. Uh, I need to build some walls, and I want to put them on the side. That way we have more cannons. It's kind of more like a, almost like a galley at that point, because you're going to get multiple layers of guns. And then I have them in the back, I have them in the front added. But yeah, I will see you when we get home. It's going to be a long sail. I mean, I got, I was luckily, luckily 
able to go the entire way here with the wind. But I have two full sectors to go to, go through before I get home. Which we are about to leave the lava section. Goodbye zone, there's gonna be zero players in it. <laughs> oh, that's freaking crazy. That's freaking crazy. I've never been to a server with one. When we first started playing, our server had five. That's the lowest I've seen. But yeah, <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Oh my god! This is what I'm talking about in case something crazy happens across into the next place and this is the first thing we run into. Are you kidding me? Why is this a thing? No! Ow! Stop it! Stop it! There's no wind even! That's the worst part of this whole thing. There's no flipping wind. There is absolutely no wind for me to freaking like, move even. Oh my gosh. Dude, stop it. <laughs> Go. I think it's like once I get here, I feel like I'm confident I can pass them. I think we're good here. But holy crap. My ship has got to be hurting pretty bad right now. Why do I, why am I still in, I don't understand why I'm in battle, me, battle mode. Uh, yeah, that's 3,000 damage. Or 3,000. It's not super bad, but it's not its not good. My crop plots. Are you guys taking damage up there? I don't want to lose the crop plots. <laughs> Alright. I'm basically going to take this boat home, and I think I'm pretty much done. All I have left to get is equator. And I'll probably put that at the back. Put tropical in the middle, so I even have tropical. And then, I mean, that's, that's it. That's it. We got the whole... <laughs> all the biomes currently that I, would, I could imagine that I would need for for this. But I mean, you can see I have some right now. I have the temperate growing on one side, because, yeah, I had a bunch of seeds for that. Turnips, carrots, onions, all that fun stuff. Oh, and back here. Back here, I forgot about that. I'm not going to the back of my ship while I'm sailing alone. Never again. There's, <laughs> there's radishes? No, beets, beets. That's the last one back here is beets. But yeah, all right, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Hopefully nothing crazy like that happens again. I just... I just realized. Oh my god. No. No. How did I do it? When did I do it? Oh no. He's not here anymore. He's gone. Spatula. Spatula, the parrot's gone. Oh no. I left him on one of the islands. <laughs> oh no. I left him on an island. <laughs> oh. I was so sad about that. <laughs> it just hit me. He's gone. Oh, I've had him for so long. Whoa, what the heck is this? Why are you in this mode? Stop it. Spatula. How did I do that? How did I leave him? Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, this sucks. It's the first time I've ever seen a merchant ship and I'm being chased by a freaking ghost ship. Oh, uh, merchant ship. I mean, can I, like, get away from this ghost ship and go back? I don't really have any gold on me, though. That's the problem. Is it going to attack the merchant ship? No. I think it's still coming after me, but I can't tell. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Still coming after me? That flag freaked me out. I think so. I honestly can't tell. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Oh, how exactly I'm gonna do this. I do have. I only have six coins on me? Seriously? Oh. I didn't expect to run into a merchant ship out here. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get on board the merchant ship. I guess maybe like this? <laughs> What's up? What do you have? Okay, cause clothing cosmetics. Magical? What? Dragon token. Ship for your heads. Okay. What else do we have here? What are you? Okay, we can buy all these from him. 
Actually, I want to see how much this is. Okay, so if we go to crystals, how much are you? 25 coins for 15? Woo! Okay, that's not the best. See ya! <laughs> Don't want to leave my ship too long. I have, a sw I have the swim speed bonus up, thank god. Uh, hopefully the ghost ship's not anywhere out here. <laughs> I hope. It's gonna kinda swim around real quick and repair as I go. Sorry, I'm slamming the E button because, yeah. I just want to get this repaired so we don't get sunk. So there's the merchant ship. That's cool. I wasn't expecting to see that either. <laughs> Alright, I'm going home the rest of the way. That was fun. That's, I'm like, that's cool. I wish I had more coins. Like, I would have brought a bunch had I known that I'd be seeing a merchant ship. I would have brought like a thousand at least. Got a bunch of supplies. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna head home again. Hopefully not get shot by any more of these ghost ships. So, as I slowly back this schooner up, <laughs> you can see, like, we, 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 we've been going a little crazy. We, we have a, we have a nice, ho like, I, I'm, this game, I was excited about a harbor. I'm sorry, I'm like stuttering, because it's just like, I was very excited about a harbor with this game, given that it's like, that was the whole thing, is just like boats and all this kinds of stuff like that. Um, a harbor, a harbor to me was exactly what I was, what I wanted in this game, because, I mean, why else, why, but just all the ships, and it would look so cool, and I mean, this, this looks amazing. So it's like, we, we have, almost everybody's kind of getting their own schooner, that way, if, you know, they sink it, they don't feel bad, because it's their own schooner. Um... We have the brig. We have this little sloop, which never goes anywhere, so it's kind of just... That's why I'm kind of moving over here and just kind of parking here, because there's not really... It's never going to go anywhere, so... Utilize just jumping off of the shipyard onto this is what I've been doing. Um, and it's funny, because it's, it's almost parked perfectly, if I can get it back in the same place, that you can jump boat to boat. <laughs> All right, I think, I think, I think, I think I should probably stop it. It's probably good. Uh, lower ship. Okay. So, there we go. Yep, I can just walk right off. <laughs> I love it. Um, just jump over here. I was thinking I, I may try to extend this just a little bit. So we can, like, have it just like a platform in general. Going over to that. And this, <laughs> he built a little ladder up into his boat, which is awesome. Um, this whole little, like, dock is just, it's great. Like, you can pull the ships right up to it. This is our new, our new battleship of small proportions. Uh, Victor built this, and yeah, we've got guns and ports back here, which I want to tear down and turn sideways because they drive me crazy if they face straight back. The people don't shoot. They never shoot. These are two ports, two gun ports on the other side. That way, two of us can be shooting up here. We put the pirates on these four up front, two pointed at an angle, two pointed in front. Then down here, we have all the, you know, pretty much all cannons. I didn't realize he didn't have two of them on here. I had no idea. So there's four cannons on each... It's only three cannons on each side? No, four. Oh, that's right, because this one's actually inside of this ram. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the new battle thing. and We tried it on a, a few green ones real quick. I wasn't recording, but uh, it was just a couple. And Yeah, the sturdiness. Gotta get that sturdiness up, because my god... Like, the difference when we were getting hit on that, when we were getting our sturdiness up, for just the tiny 2.5%, it was noticeable. And, I mean, so th this is taking a lot of damage. Um, then we kind of come over here, which is the old, his old ship, which I had originally started with the whole testing of the planters. So now that, that, that garden boat, by the way, it has tundra, desert. I tried lower and high desert. They both come out as desert, so nonetheless, it's the same thing. Um, but they have desert on there. There is Tundra on there. There is Temperate on there. Like I said, I want to get Equator. That's pretty much all that's left is Equator. And then we have our own. We have so many farms here. <laughs> like, the entire top up there is farms. Everywhere that there's wood. And so that's how he built this thing, was so there's wood so we can build the farms on top of it. You can't build farms on stone, but you can on those. And then I have, like, my little farms right here. But this is the galley that we're slowly working on still. Um, it's been it's gonna be a little while for this for sure. We're gonna slap all the sides on at once, but making each one of those sides is it's a tedious project, and a lot of people have been really busy. And I've, I've like I said, I haven't been feeling too great today, so there's that. 
everybody has their own skeleton, which is great. Uh, so anybody that ends up joining, so we got me, uh, Pit, Predatorio. He's new, and it takes me a minute to learn names. Uh, Angel Anarchy, which is Victor. Then we have back here, uh, what, Kopox, Walker, and Nim. So, yeah. Basically, everybody gets a news, gets turned into a skeleton. And I love the fact that it shows the name, so we can just sit here and have them up here. So everybody who's part of the part of the company gets their own little skeleton. Um, as far as inside and outside, I I set up probably about 40, 45 torches, all set to one thing. So I activate the torches, and it activates everything, which I will jump to a night scene in a minute because I I, I want to show it off. It's it's going to be the end, but. I do want to show it off because I am very, very satisfied with how it came out. So this is that, this is, you remember, there, there was like doors and everything here. Massive doors. Oh god. Oh god. This is why this is here. No! 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 Okay, so with this, now that I got my stuff. <laughs> um, oh, I transferred all the arrows so I don't even have any. The ideal situation is, you know, you come in here with a bunch of arrows. And just open up whatever door you need to. And you have a shot on everything below. Over here, which I may end up putting on all of them, I actually have a, a swivel cannon set, which has been working really well for everything. Like, anything big, especially, just boom, gone instantly. Which is wonderful. Uh, I, have a, I have a box up here that has all the stuff inside of it. Then I can come up here, to look around. I need to, I mean, you can even technically, oh, you wouldn't want to, but you can. Possibly shoot if it's a big enough target from up there. The tiger's not gonna help. You. It's just gonna sit there and attack you, whatever. Stone building. Have fun with that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's out here. We have a shipyard over here that basically acts as a wall out into the, out into the water. But it, it, it gives it a it gives it a harbor feel, which I love. And these walls are slowly coming together on the other side. I haven't really worked on them too much. We've had other projects I was working on. Um, which was this, these little, those street lights I added. <laughs> it's stuff like this that's aesthetic purposes that I absolutely love. And just when it went at nighttime, at nighttime it becomes amazing. So I'll, I'll see you in one second. So, I vaguely showed it off before once. When it was in, it's kind of like, I don't know, practice stage. So when it gets dark here, what I generally do, because I, I have the gamma turned up, but I don't have it turned up this high when I'm playing just playing um i come in here and i have this thing set to every single one of the light sources i have around the entire base so i just open it up and voila we have an entirely massive lit up base up there is like a couple they're all around this entire thing here we got them here on the shipyard i'm gonna put them probably down at the end as well on this because i do have them on the end of that shipyard and on this side and then out here, in the actual tower, that, that tiger is still just out there attacking the tower. Um, wait, what level is this tiger? Hmm, level 24. Honestly, if I was feeling better and I wasn't so tired, I would probably tame that. But you can see the green lights. I put lanterns out there. Like, there is torches, and then on some of them, which is over here, they don't flicker. There's lanterns. Okay, I was like, why am I hearing the music? Are you getting close to me? And then I put one up there so you can our trap is lit up. Um, but yeah, I enjoy how these lights come to come together. It's, it's it's great. It really brightens it up around here at nighttime. Makes it a lot better. I have a lantern in there. I mean, we have our lighthouse up there, so that whole area up there is always lit anyways. I didn't realize it actually gives off light. It does. Whoa, look at the skull. I don't really notice that too often. I think I may have seen that only a few times because I've been far away. I'm normally dead and I'm right next to my body. Somebody was saying the more you die, the faster you age. So I've been doing a really good job today and not dying. I've actually died more. I've died more recording than I have the entire day. I haven't played a ton. I've been up and down and up and down all day. Not really sitting here the whole time. But then up there in the tower, you can see Walker's Tower is all red. I put red lanterns up in it. And everything is attuned to the same pin code. There's one there. I even put a little lantern out there. Like... <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 amazing, but oh, okay. So all that property over there was saying before the tiger attacked me. Um, 
it just disappeared. We we got on today, and I, Victor said he was on. He's running around. He went over there and he gathered stuff. It was there. He went over there. He started gathering stuff. It was there. He went back over here to get this because it would have spawned back. And there was no base here, so he doesn't know what happened. And yeah, it was weird. It's like it's like okay, well, I mean, if I don't claim it, somebody else is gonna claim it. So I claimed it. And then right as I started claiming it, the guy ran up and I was like, oh, okay, so I took it back down. And then, yeah, it was just a few minutes later, he's just like, oh, I can't take it, so go ahead, just grab it. So, I claimed this area. And I made it neutral so people could build on it. I'm just hoping that he'll be... I put a sign out here saying, it's neutral zone. Uh, feel free to build, just please don't cover the metal nodes up there. It's like the little metal nodes up there. Because, yeah, I wanted to specify little, because these things are tiny. Tiny, tiny little metal nodes. So, yeah, I mean... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this exactly. Hopefully we won't end up having problems. Hopefully people can just come and build the ships and stuff that they need to and just go out into the world. I don't know if that'll be, but that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this little tower is, uh, I couldn't close these off. It's, it's a whole weird section on it. I don't know how Walker did that so well. I think it's because it's there. But this was weird, and so like now, yeah, I just don't have those open. I just have them open, which kind of works nice because you can use that as well. There's just lots of ways to do it. It's like an attack tower. Protect attack tower, I guess. Alphas can't really do anything, so you can stand up there, and that's what we did earlier, was just stand up there and shoot it with a bow. <laughs> so, it was an alpha bull, and we just killed it that way. It was interesting. Interesting, for sure. But yeah, the lights all the way down there, even. Ah, oh, man. I, I like these lights. And it's, aesthetics are a big thing to me. I enjoy aesthetics. That's why I liked it. Uh, what was it, Ark? Ark Survival Plus? Because there's a lot more aesthetics in that one than there was in normal arc. And I mean, this this base has become so amazing. <laughs> so amazing. And a good chunk of it is just because, like, Walker's really good at building. Really good at building. Like, I, I, I feel like I come up with some good ideas. Like, I like these streetlights. I mean, I, there was more I wanted to do to it, and I may in the future. But right now, this was just kind of the basic. So we could see, because it gets kind of dark here at night. Like I said, I don't normally play this bright. And I mean, if I turn it off... I know, you, I know you guys, for it dest destroys for you when it's off. But, like, when I turn it off, I mean, it it's relatively dark here. It's, it's actually really bright with Gamma 3 on, but... Yeah, it's really bright with Gamma 3 on. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, with the lights on, it definitely helps. I should probably add some inside here. And I added an extra part on our barn. It's a catwalk. So that's where our cats go. <laughs> And this, we found out we could add a cannon to the back of it. I, I tried putting a cannon on it. No, I, I did put a cannon on it, and then immediately picked it up, because what's the point for PvE? I mean, maybe? I was thinking, like, if you get a really good bear, you go, to the, go against Cyclopses. Come on, man. You were in my trap earlier. You walked into the trap. First, it was communicating with my giraffe. I thought it was pl plotting against us. Then it walked into the trap, and I was like, no, just an idiot giraffe. It apparently got out, so it's not completely an idiot. Uh -huh. But yeah, these walls are going to be extended out more like this. This over here is exactly how I want the rest of my walls to go. I think I may have showed this off before. But yeah, um, I need to finish the bottom and this part and then the whole wall is set up. But I enjoy this. I enjoy this. And now that I know especially that those uh, guns work really well on, in, on, on the animals, I think I may end up slapping one up here, one up here, and one up like on that corner right there. And then probably doing two down that way as well. And then just add a box up here. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Turn you on. Ah, the lights. I love the lights. It's so entertaining just to hit a switch and just poof, entire base is lit up. And I, I especially enjoy doing it when I see like a boat passing by, because for them it's like I I can't imagine like for me it's entertaining, and from the outside it's gotta look cool. It's gotta look crazy cool. And there's these green lights that um, predator predatorio put on his boat and yeah yeah this looks nuts i'm imagining that pretty much anybody that sees out of the sea would just be crap in their pants like oh crap you know unless they're going to fight a ship of the damned but just be like there's a ship of the damned oh no it's just somebody's ship <laughs> i had a purple light on mine i can't get up these stairs this is why i want a little platform i had a purple light on mine in the back but i lost my purple light i don't remember what i did with it i know it was in the front the green was in the back <laughs> but yeah that tower looks awesome in the dark. But I'm going to end it here for now, so hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.